guys, welcome to Sci with Miss I. Today, we're going to discuss the parts of an experiment. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of my videos. So the parts of an experiment include the independent variable, dependent variable, constant, and control. Let's take a look at the independent variable. The word vary means to change. So the independent variable is the part of the experiment that is changed by you, the scientist. Let's take a look at an example. The hypothesis in this experiment is that if we put flowers under different colored lights, then the flowers will grow the tallest under the blue lights. So let's take a look at this particular experiment. As you can see in this experiment, we have red, purple, teal, dark blue, and white light. All of the flowers are the same type of flower, and they're all being watered the same amount each day. So what is the independent variable in this experiment? Well, the independent variable in this experiment is the color of the lights. That is the part of the experiment that the scientist is changing. Now we're going to discuss the dependent variable. The word dependent means that you rely on something. So the dependent variable will depend on the independent variable. It's also the part of the experiment that is measured or observed. So what is the dependent variable in this experiment? Well, the dependent variable is the growth of the flower because that is the part of the experiment that we are measuring. Now let's discuss the constants in an experiment. The constants are the part of the experiment that stay the same. They do not change. There have to be constants in order for the experiment to work. You know how there's always that kid in every class that never stops talking? Well, that's a good real life example of a constant. What will stay the same in our plan experiment? Well, the amount of sunlight, the amount of water, the type of plant, type of soil, and even the container the plant is in will need to remain constant. Now, there can always be more than one constant in an experiment. Last but not least, I'm going to discuss the control or the control group. The control or the control group is the part of the experiment that is normal or usual. So ask yourself the question for this experiment, what colored lights do plants normally grow under? That answer would be natural light or white light. Understanding the parts of an experiment is extremely important when you're studying science. So if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. Side with Messiah.